no idea what I was doing at the beginning of this build. Um, the, the build you see right here is uh, just a renovation of a pre-built Team Fortress 2 house that I found on the gallery. Don't get me wrong, uh, props to the person, they did good, uh, but I wanted my house to look more like it was matching the rest of the neighborhood. Uh, and the, the, the rest of the neighborhood was more detailed. I'm, I'm trying to renovate the rest of the houses, which will be put into different videos, but that's not what, that's not really, you know, the, the, the talk of this video. Um, as you can see, I tried to renovate the whole entire kitchen, um, and, uh, <laughs> tried to make it seem like people live there, but I wasn't actually vibing with the, the, how the shape of the house was. So what, I went ahead and, uh, I went ahead and googled uh, floor plan for a big house and um, I'm kind of glad I did. Later on I did end up um, modifying the floor plan uh, to fit the needs of the mercenaries because I didn't put a bathroom in the initial floor plan because I used up all the rooms for rooms. Uh, sadly pyro uh, does not exist in my sims world sadly. <laughs> uh, because you can only have eight uh, people in a house and there are nine mercenaries i believe i could not fit all of them so i had to cut off pyro but there are instances of pyro in my house i just need to continue adding more because i did end up going back with other custom content that i downloaded on today I'm, d um, I'm doing this recording uh the day after i built the house um but i ended up finding more custom content anyway uh but that's not the point i ended up using um custom content wallpaper cc wallpaper it looked hella good it looks like it's all muddy and gross and decrepit outside and that's the vibe i was going for um and i'm glad <laughs> that i used it and not just some random uh wallpaper that i had and um i used a cc door which came from i think a gardening pack that the wallpaper came from I ended up using windows from the strangerville pack and I'm glad I did, because it looks like, uh, in all honesty, I think uh, New Mexico and Strangerville are kind of the same. If not, if not, Strangerville is probably Las Vegas. Um, so yeah, now we're, we're in the rooms. I thought that maybe the smallest room should go to the youngest mercenary, because I think that in all honesty, I think they would shove Scout into the smallest room they got. Because, <laughs> well, for one, he's the youngest, and I'm pretty sure they really just didn't want to deal with him. So they're just like, okay, you go in the small room, and he didn't even have a choice, you know? So I, 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 I downloaded beforehand a bunch of junk, like actual junk. Um, and it's like chips bags, uh, soda cans, all that, you know? and a, a bicycle <laughs> that's not even usable and i'm glad i have that because it looked uh, i'm pretty sure scout rides a bike uh, like I, I had cannon him to ride a bike basically and i threw in a bunch of like sports stuff because you know how scout is sporty who you know and on the wall the, the walls were kind of plain so i'm like okay you know the, they're mercenaries they probably punch walls and all that you know shit <laughs> and um scout the way scout is is he likes he likes girls a lot and he's a playboy a uh, fuck boy whatever you want to call him uh so i put up like pinup pictures of women oh and then as you can see right here <laughs> i did end up putting a picture frame of a random woman and i'm like okay you know what let's just pretend this is scout's mom he loves his mom he's a mama's boy so there uh, the next room goes to demo man and the only reason why I gave him the second smallest room is because I have a feeling he wouldn't actually be into all that, like, materialistic items and that his room would just actually be kind of messy with, like, beer bottles and, like, envelopes from, like, maybe his mom and letters and all that, you know? Uh, and then I put picture frames of his family, you'll see here in a few, but right here I'm, like, putting in, like, um, I think I put in, like, swords? I, yeah, I threw in swords on the floor. I didn't even know, but, like, I was scrolling through debug, and I'm like, okay, swords, I guess. And, uh, you know, demo night. <laughs> so I threw one under his bed and two next to his bed, and I threw blood on the floor, too, because, you know, mercenaries, blood, Team Fortress 2, uh, you know? 
Um, but yeah, I th I'm, I'm proud of how his room turned out. I don't think he'd be like into like having all these like materialistic items in his room. Um, he's a simple man with simple needs, which are beer and uh, freaking swords. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I like how his room turned out, and I think, uh, he likes how his room turned out, too. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so I threw in, uh, just random wallpaper from, uh, the City Living pack, and because the City Living pack has, like, a grungy, dirty wallpaper and dirty carpet, which, you know, if you notice, I threw in a uh, dirty carpet into Scout's room, because uh, I have a feeling he, he has soda stains and whatever other stains uh, in his carpet, so yeah. Um, now we're at the kitchen. Like, the kitchen was one of my favorite places to make, because I, like, threw in dirty dishes and whatever from, like, one of the CC packs that I downloaded, but we're not there yet. <laughs> Um, I used a bunch of the city living stuff, uh, like the cabinets and the, the fridge and stove. Uh, they all look like wear down and all that. So I'm like, okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. I threw in wine bottles because Spy and like Demo Man, you know, drink alcohol. Um, I think I put a fruit bowl on top of the fridge. I don't know why, but I took the time to do that. And then I put like some uh, dirty looking tiles in the kitchen floor. But, uh, I gave regular wood floor in the living room, and I threw in a bunch of random, uh, junk everywhere. <laughs> like, uh, l little toy cart, uh, little block of knives on the, the thing. I think I threw a gnome in the middle. Yeah, a little naked gnome. Um, I, ha I, I don't know what my thought process was for that. Uh, I used a, I think, supernatural stuff, um, couches? Which, you know, I think they'd- uh, it's a comfy couch, I think they would use that. And then, um, I threw those pictures there and I'm like, okay, well, the mercenaries seem as close as family, so maybe they have pictures everywhere, I don't know. And then I threw, like, random junk, like, um, pizza box, <laughs> uh, j j just random junk, like trash, envelopes, you know, there, there I put the dirty dishes, you see that? Ooh! Um... I, I made it- I, I, the thing is, the only reason why I did that, I wanted to make it seem like people actually live there. That's why I did it. I, I hate having to build homes and make it so that it wouldn't look like people are living there. And you, as you can see, I put more stuff outside to make it seem like uh, they threw random junk in the backyard. Like a mattress, random boxes, a frying pan, a cone. Um, I have a feeling engineer would be into like gardening for whatever reason, so I threw like little gardening stuff back there. And um, later on I moved some of this stuff um, so that I could build something else in that part. Um, also, there was, like, this thing for throwing, like, uh, hatchets at that, and I'm like, okay, maybe, like, Pyro or, like, Sniper would be into throwing hatchets, so I threw that into the mix, and plus it was, like, it, 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 I'm like, okay, that looks cool, it seemed like something they would have, you know, target practice. Um, next we're on to the game room. <laughs> um, the game room was one of my favorite places to make. It wasn't as detailed as I liked it to be. But it, it was homey, comfy for the mercenaries to go in, and they really did like it. I ended up messing around with them for a bit, letting them get the feel of their house. Scout just wouldn't get on his bunk bed for whatever reason. I had to fix his room, so it looks different now. But uh, it, it kind of is the same. Um, anyway, I threw in a bar. And that's a bar right there, so I, I took that smaller bar and I just threw in um, a jukebox. And I'm like, okay, they'd probably be into tunes. So, yeah, uh, I like it. Uh, so, he- I- I put Medic's room and NG's room, so they both have separate rooms for their little interest, uh, to make it more seem- uh, seem more sinister. Uh, well, for Medic, specifically. Uh, Medic's room itself has barely anything, because I think he himself would barely have anything. Um, but his, his interests, dissecting people, um, as you, I don't know why, but I threw blood and some random stain in, uh, in his room specifically, but here, here is where I put all my pride and passion into throwing random clutter into a room. 
Um, so I have this CC from, um, I, I forgot who specifically, but oh my god, I'm so glad I found them. I, I was looking at emo, uh, Sims 4 custom content, and it took me to this. So I'm like, okay, thanks. <laughs> anyway, um, but, uh, a medic, he would have, like, a random body he's dissecting in, in his room that's just rotting away because he hasn't got back to it. And the rest of his room just looks rotting and decrepit because, you know, the smell is seeping into the walls. And then for Engineer, I felt like him, he would have his more country uh, feeling room, which, I, in all honesty, I didn't really use that much stuff from Strangerville, which I should have for his room. Um, that, that all went into Soldier, <laughs> which we'll see later. Um, but I think his room would be more country and homey because, you know, how our uh, boy is. And then I ended up uh, moving into the second room, and it will be his little workshop. And I threw in, like, all these uh, random things, like a little air conditioner, uh, supplies, the wood building thingy, uh, the, the, the handy thing. I don't know, you build your skill with that. <laughs> you get, I don't know, man. I put random books, I don't know, a fence, I don't know what I was doing. Um... Yeah, in all honesty, I didn't really know what to put there, and then I, in the garage, I was gonna put a car, but then I forgot how to do the debug thing, so I didn't do that. Um, and then later on, I did, I did end up adding a car to the, the house, as well as another car that was uh, custom content. It was an ambulance. Um, I'll show it to y'all later if I can actually remind myself to... Uh, uh, film some more cinematics with the house. Um, as you can see, right here, I did move the house over because I wanted to build something in the back garden, um, which I will do after I end up finishing the rest of the rooms. Uh, we have Spy's room here. Also, sorry if I'm very, like, all over the place with this commentary. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm commentating as it speeds by right now in real time. Um, for Spy, I, I didn't want to give him the old rundown, uh, thing, uh, thing that the rest of the mercenaries have, so I threw in some fancy stuff, because I feel like in every house that they live in, he has, like, some fancy crap that he leaves behind, even if they're not gonna be coming back, and I threw, like, wine bottles and liquor bottles in, because you know how Spy is. That's the end of his room. <laughs> For soldiers, I did not know what to do, so I threw in the Strangerville pack. Because the Strangerville pack has, like, the military, and, um, and I, I had a feeling soldier would just have all this random bullshit in his, uh, his room. Um, because, if you don't know, soldier is a random, rar XD, <laughs> no, um, random character who, who blabbers about anything and anything and everything and anything that comes to his mind um so i just threw in like random papers like like uh, i don't know man like let's say this guy knows government information that he shouldn't even be knowing and he has like piles of piles of it on on his uh freaking desk but he doesn't even know what to do with it because you know how soldier is <laughs> and then um I started on a uh, heavy's room, so the guy likes Russian literature, literature in general. Uh, smart guy, even though his video game counterpart is like big muscle man, uh, punch people in the face type guy, you know. But uh, I wanted to give that Russian feeling, so I put pictures of people, and I'm like, okay, that's his sisters, his mum, and maybe like some random picture of his dad. And, uh, I, I wanted to make it feel like, uh, it, it's a little comfy little place he can go to to read, you know? Um, next, I moved some of the stuff, uh, around the back because I wanted to build a locker room. And the locker rooms, I had a great idea. I'm so glad I did it. Um, I'm so glad that I had the content to do it, too. Because <laughs> I had the CC, um showers that looked, uh, uh, you know, like actual showers in a locker room. So I did that and I kind of, uh, I, I don't know and all, like, okay, well, I'm gonna take a break from like actual explaining this, but I remember reading fan fictions for Team Fortress 2. Actually, why am I talking like it was like three years ago when I did, it was literally early, uh, like a couple months ago. Um, all fan fictions aside, it would always be like, oh, I'm the only girl, how am I gonna go use the bathrooms? It's just like, wake up early. Wake up earlier than them. If they're all real, wake, wait for them to leave. <laughs> 
you know? And then they go ahead and they're like, oh. Uh, and then there's like this one fan fiction for like the. She goes into the showers at the same time with them, right? But they don't really pay attention to her and she doesn't pay attention to them, right? And uh, then for some reason, Scout's like, ah, time to pull a prank, uh, steal your clothes. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god, bro. Okay, so I went into the debug, right? And I'm like, how do you build a little a little camper van? Because I, I can't build an actual van for a uh, sniper. And sniper doesn't have a room. I, I, I figured that out not too long after um, building the other room. So I ended up building a room outside of the house and made it seem like he lives outside of uh the house in a little camper van which you know was kind of small in my opinion i wish i made it bigger uh because i was able to fit a bunk bed and a computer in there (laughs) um i was struggling a lot with it yeah you could see i'm struggling with it uh i don't man and you can see like the little the little bottom part outside. I don't know what was happening. I feel like throwing up now because I'm talking too much. Okay, I don't feel like throwing up. Oh wait, never mind. Uh. <laughs> what was I talking? Oh yeah. Okay, so I looked up a video on how to do it, and it was like round out the roof. And I'm like, bro, I can't. It won't let me. I don't know what the person was. I don't know what the lady was doing, but she's like, round out the roof. You know how to do it, and I'm like, I did. It didn't work. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I threw I threw in little little jar bottles, all that, you know, and I'm like, piss. Um, but, anyway, I think, I like, I like how it turned out. Turns pretty, uh, good. Uh, he can use his little, um, bunk bed, so I'm glad about that. And, uh, the re- the rest of the mercenaries can, in fact, get into their rooms as well and move around the, the, the custom cons. Actually, you know what? I was having trouble. This thumbnail of the video, I I was trying to get Spy to do, like, uh, he he has, like, the the snobby trait, right? I was trying to get him to admire one of his possessions, which was a new TV that I threw in. It wasn't the one that you see in this build, right? Like, as of right now. Anyway, so I was trying to get him to do that, but he wouldn't walk past the uh, goddamn piece of paper on the floor. Like, uh, okay, buddy, I guess. Anyway, man, I, I had to teleport the man into the rug. <laughs> I, I, I did. I wish I had filmed it, because I was, I was, I was struggling. I was, uh, th- th- this whole entire build made me struggle. It took me two hours. Surprising, I know. It, um, it, in, like, a year or two ago, I would have struggled for, like, five hours straight trying to get everything done. Um with uh base game content because i barely had any custom content uh like two years ago Uh, the only custom content i have was like cats and dogs and maybe uh vampires and that uh, that's that speaking of vampires bro i have an announcement after this (laughs) 